Hello, my name is Robin Graham. I am a member of the Rotary Club of Manchester and my work is based on laughter. Time. Why laughter? What's good about laughter? And how did I get started? Well, laughter is natural. It's something we naturally do. It started off possibly as a social response when the hunter-gatherers came back from hunting and they were all alive and the community would laugh together. So laughter has this benefit of being a social interaction. We can do things like breathing exercises which help us, uh, maybe mindfulness, to be calm on the inside but laughter is also a social interaction as well as a breathing exercise. I say laughter is a breathing exercise, well let's just have a look at what laughter is. Laughter is a short breath in and a long stuttered out breath. Like this. Short breath in. Ha 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 out. In principle, we can laugh ourselves happier, healthier, and less stressed. Maybe we'll try that. Let's pretend to be stressed and laugh ourselves happier and less stressed. Ha 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 what about healthier? Well, this is down to the physiology of laughing. Research has been done since 1970s. We know, for example, laughter takes us from fight or flight to relaxed. Fight or flight, in principle, means our energy is in our limbs, ready to fight or run away. And where's the energy to keep our body healthy? But if we come into the relaxed state, then the energy is there to make our body healthy. Secondly, instead of cortisol, the stress hormone, being the one which is acting on us, when we are in the relaxed state, we release happy hormones, serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, endorphins. And because of that, we're happier. And because the energy is in the body, we're healthier. So laughter does this magic for us. But laughter also is a social glue. It's very often part of social interactions. So it may help with things like anxiety and general well-being. The interesting thing is very often laughter is a choice. You know, there, there may be times when someone doesn't feel like laughing. Maybe someone is in pain and they feel if they laugh, that will mean to people around them that they're okay. Or maybe someone is maybe experiencing some difficult time and they know that if they laugh, they will relax. And as a result of relaxing, maybe tears or distress will come up for them. Maybe someone's a carer and feels, if I laugh, people may judge me as not caring. But laughter is basically a fundamental right. Laughter doesn't always mean happy. And more often than not, to start with, it won't be. If we had a a graph which I'll draw with my hands. So that's my comfort line. And mostly my energy is here, whether it's sad, angry, happy, it's here. But sometimes something happens that pushes my energy up. Maybe I'm getting angry. Maybe I'm sad. Maybe I'm ecstatically happy and joyful. And up here, I need a way of letting out the excess of energy in order that I can come back down to a comfortable level. For example, maybe, Maybe I'm going to see friends and I see them in the distance and they see me and we smile, we laugh, we wave at each other because in that instant, the enjoyment, the anticipation, that energy is up there. We laugh and we come back down to what's comfortable. Or maybe we're going to something much more serious. We're not meant to laugh and because we're not meant to laugh and maybe we're wearing clothes that we don't particularly like, our energy level's up there. And then someone has hiccups and we can't contain ourselves. The more we resist the laughter, the more the energy goes up until eventually we laugh and people around us may laugh too. 
So we may stop ourselves laughing, but we also can choose to laugh. We can go and seek out things that will make us laugh. Maybe it's films or audio, or there are uh, people who, when we're with, we just laugh more. Maybe there are photographs that when we look at them, we feel the joy and we smile and we laugh. Maybe when we're around pets, we laugh. What I do ever since March this year is I set my alarm on my phone for midday. And at midday, I just do the giggle jiggle. I just go, ha, 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 ha. That's enough because it means no day goes past without a laugh or a smile. Ha, 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 ha. You can develop your own giggle jiggle in your own style. See, what we're really looking at is playfulness. Playfulness is the key. It, it's not just going ha, 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 ha. It's actually finding something playful as well. If you like, one of the starting premises is we can, to a certain extent, be our own chemist shop. And laughter is one of those tools that we can use to change how we feel, to improve our health, and to lower our stress. There's a, a laughter yoga movement, uh, which is based on exercises which generate laughter. So we'll do maybe one or two of those exercises. So uh, maybe you want to join in. So let's start with a giggle jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> and then imagine you've got a worry and it's, it's, it's that gap between your hands and the worry gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so what are we going to do about it well if we add the playfulness and the laughter we can see what we can do with laughter with a ha 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 screw it up throw it away <sighs> It doesn't get rid of the problems, but when our stress levels are lower, we are more able to have a clear mind to deal with what needs to be dealt with. So I started this laughter work because a wise man, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar from Art of Living Foundation said, stand on street corners and laugh, we need more laughter in the world. And his instructions were simple, just swing your arms and go, ha 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 ha, <laughs> so let's do that for the next, oh, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> and if you did and you got to laughing, did it make you feel different? And if there were other people in the room with you doing this with you, did it make you feel different? So this is the basis for how we can use laughter in our lives. We can seek out things that make us laugh. We can laugh despite whatever we're dealing with or with whatever we're dealing with, and it automatically changes our physiology. So I started by saying, is there anything funny about virtual health, Mela? Well, let's see if there's anything funny about virtual. Virtual. Vir Virtual, virtual, virtual. It's not very funny. How about health? Health, health, health. Of course, there is physical health and there's mental health. Um, and what we're doing is we're putting the fun in it. So it's fundamental health that we are dealing with. And Mella, how about Mella? Oh, this is the one. Mella. 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 Allowing playfulness in our life, allowing the laughter automatically changes our physiology. And that gives us a chance to be happier, healthier, and less stressed. I run an organization called Feel Good Communities, and it's a social enterprise, and the work is based on laughter and the breath. Do look us up. <laughs>